Yaakov fled into the field of Ram, and Yisrael served for a woman, and for a woman he kept sheep. And by a prophet Yahweh brought Yisrael up out of Mithraim, and by a prophet was he preserved. Ephraim hath provoked to anger most bitterly, therefore shall his blood be left upon him, and his reproach shall his Lord return to him. Hoshea chapter 13 When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He exalted himself in Yisrael. Then he became culpable by means of Baal, and he died. And now they sin more and more, and have made them cast metal images of their silver, even idols according to their own understanding, all of them the work of the craftsmen. They say of them, Let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves. Therefore they shall be as the morning cloud, and as the dew that passeth early away, as the chaff that is driven with the whirlwind out of the threshing floor, and as the smoke out of the chimney. Yet I am Yahweh thy God from the land of Mithraim, and thou shalt know no God but me, and besides me there is no Saviour. I did know thee in the wilderness, in the land of great drought. According to their pasture, so were they filled. They were filled, and their heart was exalted. Therefore have they forgotten me. Therefore am I to them as a lion, as a leopard will I watch by the way. I will meet them as a bear that is bereaved of her whelps, and will rip the call of their heart, and there will I devour them like a lioness. The wild beast shall tear them. It is thy destruction, O Yisrael, that thou art against me, against thy help. Where now is thy king, that he may save thee in all thy cities, and thy judges of whom thou saidst, Give me a king and princes? I have given thee a king in my anger, and have taken him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is laid up in store. A birthing woman's violent pangs shall come for him. He is an unwise son, for it is time he should not tarry in the place of the breaking forth of children. I will ransom them from the hand of Shaul. I will redeem them from death. O oh, death! Where are thy plagues? O Shaul, where is thy destruction? Repentance shall be hid from my eyes. Though he be fruitful among his brothers, an east wind shall come, the breath of Yahweh coming up from the wilderness, and his spring shall become dry, and his fountain shall be dried up. He shall make spoil of the treasure of all goodly vessels. Shamaron shall bear her culpability, for she hath rebelled against her God. They shall fall by the sword, their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and their women with child shall be ripped up. O Yisrael, return to Yahweh thy God, for thou hast fallen by means of thy iniquity. Take with you words, and return to Yahweh. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, and accept that which is good. So will we render as bullocks the offering of our lips.